welcome to episode six of Recorder Karate. As you know, we have been doing a lot of sight reading, but I told you that we were also going to be working on ear training. And so we're going to start with one of my favorite ear training games today. It's called Pattern of the Day. Okay, here's how you play Pattern of the Day. I'm going to clap a rhythm pattern and you're going to clap it back. So let's practice. You ready? Okay. They're amazing. So that's what you're going to do throughout the game. Okay. Except if I clap the pattern of the day. If I clap the pattern of the day, you don't want to clap back. Okay? So you are listening for the pattern of the day. And if you do clap it back, then you're out and you have to sit down. Mm. Okay? So today's pattern of the day, we really haven't learned eighth notes yet, but we say eighth notes as toddy. So today's pattern of the day is going to say toddy ta, toddy ta. You clap it back to me. Toddy ta. There you go. Okay, so if I clap the pattern of the day, then you are not going to clap anything back. But everything else, you have to clap after me. Are okay. you ready? Ready. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, shake it out. And here we go. Remember the pattern of the day until now you I know. heard it. Now you know it. Pick All right, let's keep going. Pick Here pick we go. Pick and I did forget to say there's two other ways you can get out in this game. If you don't clap the other patterns, you'll be oh, out. Okay. And if you tell someone else they're out, then you will be out. All right. Mm -hmm. Didn't she so, tell someone she's out? I didn't tell her that rule. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's more of a thing when you're like, I saw you clap. Yes. That that's where we go out. Mostly okay. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. try to play the same thing that I play. Now, if there's a siren in the background, that could really level us up, <laughs> take us to the next level. Um, so, I'm only going to be using three notes, B, A, and G. You have to guess what you're... Oh. Yes. Oh. B, A, and G. So, they're training their ears <laughs> to hear if it sounds like it's going high to low, low to high, staying the same. Okay? So, this is not an out kind of game. It's just practice. So if you mess up, keep going. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, at home, I hope you have your recorder ready as well. And if you're at home, you can watch the video if you need to, or you can look away to challenge yourself. Should I close my eyes? Because I can see your hands. If I go this way, can you see my hands? Yeah, I can see it. Close your eyes. Yeah, Wait, sure, close your eyes. <laughs> we'll wait till the siren's done. Okay, I think we're ready. <laughs> All right, here's your first one. Listen carefully, then repeat. It's going to be four beats, okay? Here we go. Go. All right, here's the next one.
<laughs> okay. So, that's game two, our ear training game two. Why do you guys think that was so hard? Well, our my eyes were closed. Well my ears are not well trained. Okay. I don't, I don't know them that well. If you got it right, think about a time when you got it right. How did you, what did you do to get it right? Well, I'd heard those a lot from hot cross Ah, bones. so maybe you matched it with something you already knew. Yes. Then you got, you got very technical. Sure. All right. It's time for game three. Great. So our last game of the day is called ear training battle. All right, oh. so you're basically going to do what you just did with me, except this time they're going to do it with each other. Mm. Okay, so one person is going to play some kind of pattern on their recorder. Let's say Emily's going to play first. Okay? okay, so she can play anything she wants. She can just play BAG if she wants, anything simple or complicated. And then Anne has to play back what she played, right? If Anne gets it right, then Anne gets to make up the next one and Emily has to echo what she played. And we'll keep going back and forth until somebody doesn't get it right and then Molly will sub in for them. Okay? <laughs> so, here's ear training battle. You can do this at home with these two or you can do it with a partner of your own. Are you two ready? Yes. All right, so Emily, go ahead. Okay, how many notes? Four notes? Um, it can be three, four, five, okay. anywhere so, in there. Okay. You need to sub in. Now, Molly, you are going to play something for Emily to echo. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Close. Only missing one note. Okay, Ann, you sub back in for Emily. <laughs> Now, Ann, you play something for Molly. <laughs> I'm sorry. You uh, could do that. Do it again, Ann. Do it again. And listen, Molly. <laughs> okay, that was not correct. <laughs> okay, Emily, you go back in for Molly. Let's say we're going to keep it simple and only play three notes. Okay? <laughs> I guess we're trying to make it hard. Yeah. So, Emily, you play three notes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, try again. Play three okay. notes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Molly, you shove him for Ann. This is a really <laughs> quick game. It's like jumping because she wanted to do a fourth note, and she goes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay, Molly, three notes for Emily. attention to high, medium, and low, right? If we have those three notes, we know that um, if it sounds like it's going down and then down again, then it has to start with B, go to A, and then to G. So maybe we'll try this in another episode of Rume Recorder once we've had a little more practice, but I hope you're trying at home and uh, challenging your ear. 